Hey everybody, Hatcher here with gaming news, reviews, and tips, and today we're going to take a bit of a dive into the AIM-9 Sidewinder, uh, which is codenamed FOX-2. So, if you're firing off one of these missiles, uh, the appropriate terminology is FOX-2. What does the AIM stand for? Well, AIM stands for Air Intercept Missile, and in this case, the Sidewinder is a short-range missile, which is ideally used in dogfighting. In DCS World for the F-18, we have three different versions of the Sidewinder, L, M, and X, and each one is an improvement on the previous version, with X being the most advanced and having the best ability to lock on with its own seeker to the target, um, as well as having the best ability for avoiding countermeasures like flares. Okay, so the AIM-9 is an air-to-air -air missile, so as soon as we select with the weapon select switch our Sidewinders, the AIM-9, we immediately on the right DDI get uh, our radar brought up, and left DDI changes to our stores play page, and we have air-to-air -air mode set. We do have to make sure that the master arm switch is set to arm, and then we go from safe to arm. So now we're ready to go. If I repeatedly push down on the weapon select switch for the Sidewinder, I'll cycle through my different Sidewinders. In this case, I have 9Ls, 9M, and 9Dex all loaded on board. So you can see that change on the HUD from L to X to M. Uh, and again, uh, the M is an improvement on the L, and the X is an improvement on the M. Um, honestly, I think the L sucks, even though when you read, it's supposed to be no different than uh, really than the M or the X. But uh, I find the M is a significant improvement uh, in obtaining a lock, either a seeker lock or a radar lock, uh, over the L. And the X is, uh, is also an improvement over the M. Okay, so there's two different ways that we can fire and obtain a lock uh, with the Sidewinder. Uh, the first is just a seeker lock using the infrared uh, heat signature. And the advantage to this mode is that our opponent does not get an alert that we have a radar lock on them. Uh, and then the second way of obtaining a lock is actually with a radar lock. So let's take a look at the first one, which is just uh, done with the bore sight. So taking a look at the HUD, we can see the bore sight and we have some targets coming in. I've got my 9M selected. And as we close in, if we hover the bore sight over our target, eventually we will uh, hear a growl. Okay, so we're within 2.5 nautical miles, which is actually quite close, and we're closing, but you can hear that we uh, have the growl. If I push the cage uncage, we get tone. This is seeker tone and trigger release. And you can see he's expelling his flares and it decoyed the missile. Uh, but in this case, he was not alerted with the radar, uh, and we just targeted uh, our target using the seeker mode in that case. Now we also have the ability to do this with radar. So if I follow this target now, and I actually push forward on my sensor select switch, <clears throat> you can see that we switch to air combat maneuvers. And now I've got a radar lock with a shoot icon. And if I pull the trigger in this case, we have radar lock and uh, we had good tone. And so we were able to down that uh, flight or that plane, that target. 